All right. Video number two. I don't know if I lost voice on that or not, but I got a message. I have it on airplane, so I'm not supposed to, nothing's supposed to be able to come through, but something came through. So let me go back to where I was. Second Corinthians 12. This is where we know there are at least two raptures. Um, uh, Wayne over at oh, the, We Are the Overcomers uh, shows that there are three. Um, but at least here we know there are two. It says, and I knew such a man. Uh, let's see. One I knew caught up to the third heaven. So the bride goes to the third heaven. And then he also knows another man who was caught up to paradise. Remember the thief on the cross went to paradise. Jesus told him, today I tell you, be in paradise with me. Uh, let's see. Oh, I wanted to get into this again. Just for the bride to uh, just to encourage you and, and to help you understand um, that we are not in the seals yet. And I'm not. Uh, again, salvation is based on Jesus and Jesus alone by him covering your sins and by um, believing on him and trying to seek him out and draw closer, ever closer as we study. It has nothing to do with knowledge, has nothing to do with the full understanding it has nothing to do with knowing the date. It has nothing to do with any of that. It's just Jesus. That's it. There is nothing else. If you get on and make the statement that if you don't understand what I'm saying and believe in what I'm saying, then you're not saved. You're not part of that group. That's just uh, reckless to say something like that. If you don't believe the way I believe, and if you can't see what I see, then you're probably not saved. That's the most reckless thing I think I've ever heard anyone say, and it is extremely reckless to say that to somebody. We're, the unsaved are not even watching. They're not on these videos. Every now and again, if there's enough uh, watches and enough likes in the video, it'll wind up in their feed, and maybe, maybe they'll watch the video, you know, Early on, uh, you try to grab somebody's attention at the very first part of the video, and maybe they'll subscribe, maybe they'll listen, maybe it'll be a seed planted in the back of their minds. And once they see this rapture, they'll be like, wait a minute, I heard that person on YouTube say something about this. Um, let me go research that a little bit more, and that's what we're supposed to do is plant those seeds. Um, just because you don't believe exactly in a certain uh timeline or a uh, series of events or how things are laid out and how they happen literally has no bearing on your salvation whatsoever. Jesus is the only way, the only truth, and the only life. Jesus, that's it. All this other stuff, we're just trying to figure out some stuff here. So, All right, let me get back to uh, where we were. All right. Roundabout throne. There were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Twenty-four. That's it, right? Twenty-four. There's twenty-four. Everybody will see this passage, and they will run with it. There's twenty-four, and that's it. Twenty-four. Who are these people? Well, they're the bride. How do we know that? Because they have crowns. Only the bride are given crowns of gold. Only the bride cast their crowns at the feet of God because they know they don't deserve it. They cast it back to the one true God who does deserve those crowns. The one who did it all. The one who did all the work. The one that did everything. We know we don't deserve anything, but he didn't do it for our glory. He did it for his own. You know, He saved it for uh, us for himself, for his glory. Okay, so that's who these are. This is the bride. There's 24 of them. 24. And here we have the four beasts and the four and 20 elders. So 24 elders again and four beasts fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Now, the bride apparently has the prayers of all of the saints. Remember, we can all be called saints. The 144, the dead in Christ, all can be called saints. The saints cannot be called the bride. The saints cannot be called the 144,000. We are called out of that group and set apart. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book. Now, wait a second. So the, four and 24, elder, the four and, uh, 24 elders are there in heaven. 
they have the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song. This is something new that's happening. Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hath redeemed us to God by the blood out of every kindred. Now, holy, he's going to open the book right now. And they're describing who they are. They are out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Every kindred, every tongue, and people and nation. And has made us unto our God kings and priests. And we shall reign on earth. Remember, you get a rod of iron. The bride gets a rod of iron. And we will reign with Jesus here on earth, ruling over those thousand years. This is where he takes the seals. He takes the book to open the seals right here in front of the 24 elders, the bride, who have crowns, who cast them at the feet. There are 195 countries in the world. This total comprises 193 countries that are member states of the United Nations. 193. 24 elders redeemed us out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. 24 cannot mathematically represent 193 nations and tongue. There are currently 6,500 languages in the world. 6,500. Out of every tongue, kindred and tongue and people and nation, these 24 are simply heads of each group. There are over 100 million people that are, uh, br that are raptured as the bride. These are simply the leaders of, the, of each group. For example, Oh, my goodness. If God were to say, um, lost my train of thought again. If God were to say, um, I want every person to line up whose last name begins with B or C or A or S or whatever letter it begins with your last name. Are you any less or any greater than anyone else that you got into that line with? The guy who says, I'm an S, everybody who has an S in their last name, line up behind me. They are all a part of that 24. The same thing as this. I don't want to use Stellarium as an example because people get weirded out about, um, you know, using the astrology versus astronomy. And, and uh, Satan took something that God created and turned it evil. And uh, the fact is, um, astronomy is what we look at when we look up. We don't look at astrology. So, um, when you line up, you line up behind one of these 24. Okay, and in that line, anybody who has, let's say you, let's say you line up, you're a Virgo or a Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, line up here. In that line, you will have every tongue, every kindred, every people, and every nation. There are people who are born Sagittarius all around the world. It doesn't matter what language they speak, who they are, what nation they're from. They all speak. I mean, they're all 
born a Sagittarius, so they'll line up in that line. Just as an example, I'm not saying that's what it is. And that's, that's how I explain who these 24 elders are. 195 countries, 6,500. So to state that there's only, oh, and how many different races are there? One. We are one human race. That's it. Genetically, we are all the same. Whether you dislike somebody for one reason or another, you've lost your mind because we're, we are all one of the human race. We're all the same. We all come from Adam and Eve, subsequently came from Noah's Ark. We are all of the same uh, race, every single one of us. There is no difference. And in God's eyes, he sees no difference. What he sees is the fact that he created us. He's given us given us a bunch of glorious varieties of color and eye color and skin tone and you know all just so so many you know hair just everything height everything he's given us a bunch a, a wonderful variety and so we should embrace that and not not uh, argue against that Revelation five and I beheld and heard a voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of them how many are there. This is Revelation 5. This is before the seals are opened. I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels. That's it. I heard the voice of many angels around the throne. That's it. And what happens after that? And the beast and the elders and the number of them, he's not talking about the number of the angels. He's the voice of the angels. He heard the voices of angels. He's not hearing the voices of the beasts and elders. He's hearing the voices of angels. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. It's more than 100 million, less than 200 million. This is the number of the 24 elders. We all fall under these 24 categories. I don't know what the categories are yet. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Line up. Everybody whose last name starts with a B, line up right here. And I can imagine that, you know, it would be... A lot of people of different languages and stuff. But guess what? One race. All right. Let's get that out of the way. This happens again. This this number happens before he opens the first seal. Thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals. Oh, this is uh, this is something. Uh, okay, the flood was in 1656 from creation, but Enoch left in the year 987, so that was 669 years before the flood. If Enoch is the bride and Noah was a saint, how can we relate 669 years to our rapture before the saints are taken in seal six? I know Enoch left on Savan six, which is the 66th day of the year, and the flood began on October the 31st, Heshmon 17th. The 229th day, leaving five months and 10 days in between. Suppose we are filthy. Let's see. Suppose we're. Oh, oh. So I wanted to show you also that when it came to Lot, that um, there's this this repeating occurrence that happens when destruction begins. When it was Abraham and Lot, Abraham was talking to God saying, well, if there's 50 righteous down in Sodom and Gomorrah, will you spare it because of the, the elect? And ultimately, as you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, after six days, I think this conversation went on six days long, and each day he asked for a different group of people. And ultimately what happened was two angels went down into uh, Sodom and removed Lot his wife, his two daughters, and the two husbands of the two daughters would not leave. They just would not leave. They wanted to be there, and they left. And remember, Lot's wife turned around to look when she was told not to. Uh, she turned into a – she did get out, but she turned into a saint. She stayed She stayed behind. So um, suppose 10, and so I, again, I think that there was this seven-day – Warning. Now, two angels came to Sodom in the evening, and Lot was, remember, those are six days, and here in the evening, they were sitting at the gate. He was sitting at the gate, and that night, um, they had to usher them out because uh, the, the, the men of the town were trying to get at the two angels so that they could know them. It's a pretty perverted time. Parable of the fig tree. 
Oh, this is what Isaiah 53 has been showing, and he's right. He's right. We've looked at the parable of the fig tree, but we didn't notice the phrase, all the trees. All the trees. We didn't know what that meant. And I think Isaiah 53 has figured that out here as a lady. God's opening our eyes. Look at the fig tree and all the trees when they are already budding. You see and know for yourselves that summer is now near. Okay? Down here at the bottom, the importance of watching. But take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing drunkenness. So don't get, oh, this is never going to happen, uh, which I don't think any true watcher. Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that, I will, that uh, will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So I think that, am I done? Oh, uh, this happened. Does this happen today? <laughs> Just keeps happening. Okay. So, we're still looking at the 11th. Oh, I can't. I can't. I have to show you. I have to go. Let me see here. Okay. <laughs> um, Isaiah 53. He put, he puts a, uh, a questionnaire up here on, uh, you, on on YouTube. I think it's YouTube or Facebook. I think it's YouTube. If the Psalms 1949, uh, if the 1949 Psalms 90 pre-tribulation deadline passes, I'm going to. He says stay pre-trib and accept Israel can hit 81. Uh, we didn't know how to answer that, but Isaiah 53, give them a shout out. I can't even pronounce this guy's. Uh, Web page. I've heard. I don't. Somebody uh, translated that for me, but I'm not sure what it was. But he does a really good job. I'd like to, uh, again. I show you these YouTubes so that we can uh, subscribe to them, uh, like their videos. And when that happens, this might wind up in the feed of somebody who otherwise would not watch these uh, types of videos. Eyes open. Times up. He does a good job as well. Um, we saw this person come out of nowhere. 11.1, 11,100 subscribers. He just came out of nowhere, made three little videos, and just shot up like crazy. His message is that powerful. You should be uh, subscribed to uh, Messiah 2030. He makes a really good argument that 2030 is when the tribulation ends, and seven years earlier is 2023 when we go. So I, everybody's like, what? Jumping on this channel here. Word of the Watchman. This is um, Ken Potter. Uh, consider him a friend, and he's been interviewing. Uh, oh, I don't have it on here, but he's been interviewing uh, Waltner lately, and uh, going over a bunch of stuff that she has. Now, Cataclysm Tony Early. Don't. No, I'm just kidding. Subscribe to his channel. He. They, we talk quite a bit, and he says, if I can get over 11,000 subscribers, I think Jesus is coming back. So uh, let's get him over. Uh, he's right at 11,000 now. We'll get him up to 12 or 13. That will definitely, definitely make Jesus come back sooner. I'm kidding, of course. That has nothing to do with it, but it's still uh, still good. This is Bob Barber. He had a really good video here. I really liked his uh, sign of the Son of Man. Uh, his last video, it's only 21 minutes long, uh, but he did a really good job of showing uh, the sign of the Son of Man. Remember, this is the last sign that uh, the Bible speaks of. And looking up, she has a, U a Facebook page as well. She does uh, really good stuff. She's actually, her Facebook brings all of the different watchmen together. And uh, please subscribe to her, her channel and go on her Facebook and uh, um, follow her on Facebook as well. She does a really good job. And oh, here's Isaiah 53. I mean, he does such a good job. He's got 53 videos, not too many, but uh, subscribe to him because he does. A, I really love his videos. Uh, what he does with his channel, it's awesome. Oh, oh yeah, this. Oh, I'm glad I waited. Oh, I'm glad I went to find that. Okay, so this person here, I think, was on YouTube or TikTok. It says YouTube up there, so I'm not sure. But she posts a video, and I watch it, and I'm floored by it. And I don't know if you can go find this. I tried to share it, but I couldn't. This is a 2,500-year-old Bible prophecy that just happened. Look behind her. That is a, a river in Saudi Arabia. Where did the water come from? 
it spewed from the ground. A geyser came up out of nowhere and just spewed. This has happened a couple of days ago in Saudi Arabia and made a whole river, made a whole river. And then I find the verse. I think she even mentions it up here. Does she mention it? No. Well, I find the verse. She might have mentioned it in the video. I will open rivers in desolate heights and fountains in the midst of the valleys, and I will make the wilderness a pool of water and dry land springs of water. Go find this. Um, somehow go find this and watch this, and you're, you'll be blown. They've got it, videos literally of just water just gushing out of the earth, out of nowhere, and just rivers being created out in the middle of the desert. This is like one of the prophecies that we had to see before the end, and, and it's here. It's here, so um, I don't think you need me to tell you that are watching that this is about to happen. We're all getting very excited, and things are happening all around us, and we can hardly keep up anymore. So again, like in my last video, we are looking at May 11th, May 14th, May 18th, and May 21st. Um, I have not gotten that... Uh, that uh, confirmation yet like an Amos 3 7 says but I do believe it's going to come and we're all going to know very clearly what it is everyone else will hear something they'll be like I don't even know what that was but we're going to be like I know exactly what that was you know or they're going to walk outside last night on the news I don't know what happened but a bunch of graves got thrown open we're not sure why but they're just open everywhere there's dirt literally it was so many graves that threw open that uh, there was an earthquake over it the whole planet kind of shook we don't know why we think it's probably something to do with methane under the water oh look over in Saudi Arabia some water just broke out there must be a lot of pressure under the earth and that's what caused some of these graves to get thrown open hmm and that's what they'll throw at them. Uh, they won't tell them the truth. Even though they'll know it, they won't tell them the truth. We know the, tr the truth. The dead in Christ just rose, and then we will rise momentarily. How long exactly? I don't know. I think Isaiah 53, was it him? I, I watched so many videos, I really don't know. But somebody surmised that it was even three days after that. So, I mean... Pretty much every single date on here, 11, 14, 18, and 21, are about three days apart. So um, it's heating up. I, I really thought it was going to happen back, uh, you know, at the cross. But he's the first fruits, you know. Thought it was going to happen on second Passover on April 29th. But here we are. So um, I think, again, like I showed you in Luke, there is no shortage of time. We are going to go all the way out to the wire, to the very possible end, and then God will visit, shortening uh, the tribulation for the very sake of the elect. And he's discussing this in Mark and in Matthew, which means he's talking to the saints and he's talking to the Jew. Anyway, Repo Men 64, let me get off of here. I will chat with you again later. And if, uh, if uh, Amos 3.7 is revealed to me at any point... <laughs> I'll break a leg running in here, try to get this to you as fast as I can. Uh, if you have anything, I'll put a link to the Discord. If you have anything at all, uh, come in there and uh, uh, point it out to me. You can go in there also. I'll repost in my room the timeline. You can go in there and take a look at it for yourself. I don't have May 11th on here. Um, I just learned this from Isaiah 53 that that's when all the trees met. That's when Israel joined the U.N., and uh, that's exactly in two days, kind of one day if you count that uh, Israel. Where's, where is the United Nations? I feel bad right now because I don't know. I don't know where the United Nations is. I'm going to have to Google that and see what time zone that is from here. United, is it in New York? I don't know where it's at. Yeah, I don't know. Go to a quiet place by yourself. <laughs> Nobody needs to know, and you don't need to tell anybody. Accept the Lord into your heart. It's a private moment. You'll find this in John 6, 5, and 6. And after that, go tell the world what Jesus just did for you, your creator. And uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like the video. It might wind up in somebody's feed. If this rapture does occur here in two days, three days, six days, nine days, 12 days, if it occurs and... Uh, we're not here. The best thing you can do is to make certain that these videos, not just mine, all of them. That's why you'll see I like every video that I watch and uh, attempt to comment on every video. I subscribe to them and I find a lot of new ones. So 
um, do that in the, in the hopes that that video that I watched was so good that like um, Isaiah's 53's videos, they make it through and they get out there into the, uh, the world uh, after we're gone and they can watch them. Uh, all right, we'll chat with you again later.